Call of Duty Ghost is announced and here we go again with yearly iterations. Drop me a line in the comments below to discuss, but first, my opinion. I'm Tarmac and this is Feature Creep. It started in 1991 with the NHL series of games. Gamers would have the opportunity to pick up a new title every year. Each game would become steadily more complex than the last, but with no real major jumps in tech from one year to the next. NHL wasn't the only culprit of this kind of madness though. FIFA started doing it in 1995 and Madden NFL has been doing it since 2003. Now there was some validity to doing this in the old days as team rosters changed, but right now I'm sure we could update the roster via DLC and have a new game maybe every two years or so. On a related topic, I'd be willing to bet more than half of you have a plastic guitar sitting in a dusty corner of your house somewhere. Guitar Hero was just as bad year over year for the iterative style of content. Why do I bring it up? Well, the Call of Duty series has had the official announcement of Ghosts, due in November on 360, PS3, and PC, as well as the next generation consoles at an unannounced later date. I'll throw around a few quotes for you. Riveting, all new gameplay. Next generation Call of Duty engine. Redefines the series. How much do you want to bet it's going to be another plot light rail shooter whose single player campaign is at or less than six hours long, designed primarily for the multiplayer console gamers, but with that snazzy new hair graphics tech we saw in Tomb Raider? Are they going to give us larger areas with more freedom to move? It would be nice. How about a campaign that actually lets us use the awesome gear like the one-trick show ponies in Black Ops 2? Wingsuits, stealth, and climbing gloves, I'm looking at you. And now Ubisoft is doing the same thing by jumping on the pirate bandwagon with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. All they need is a zombies mode and their journey towards the dark side will be complete. Personally, I felt Connor was a bit on the weak side, so hopefully they can put some heavy writing behind Edward for AC4. Treyarch and Infinity War do have one thing going for them in the yearly release schedule of the COD games though. Since they each develop a different subset of the franchise, they can spend two years working on a game and as long as they alternate, we can still see one pumped out every year. So I have to give them credit for that, but I think it's high time we saw some real innovation in the COD series instead of games like Black Ops 2, which just served to show how much money Activision has lying around. Let's see a tool set and user created maps. How about a single player campaign that has less hand holding and scripting and more plot? Give me a multiplayer game modes with team objectives like protect a shipment in transit, infiltrate a military base, maybe fighting on a commercial jet to keep it in the air. And if you have to put in a zombies mode, make the damn zombies lethal instead of a joke. Yearly iterations are only a bad thing because the company in question chooses not to spend enough time making the title stand out. It does not have to be this way. What do you think about the endless yearly versions of these franchises? Are you in line every year ready for the next one or do you skip a generation now and then? For the next feature creep, I'd also like to try a little experiment. I'd like to know what kind of topic you want to see me cover. So add that below, like and subscribe, and I'll keep the content coming. That's all I have to say. Tarmac out.